Hello there, I hope you are doing good. A short video about Amplitube and how to assign program changes in Reaper. So this applies to all DOS, digital audio workstations, but particularly for Reaper because the, the implementation is slightly different with different DOS. But let's have a look. Okay, I'll quit the <clears throat> second track first, but I have already assigned Amplitude in the first track, as you can see. I'll just adjust a little bit it so it, it's not so large. It's taking so much space. <clears throat> okay, here we go. And I insert a second track, press FX, and we have to assign a MIDI plugin. So it's in Cocos Reaper Control MIDI. You will need this one. <clears throat> Let's put it here. Enable bank program, select load file the file is there so you just have to choose it from this place <clears throat> gm ria bank and open it and choose general midi you can see the list of general midi instruments but don't care about that one now click on this one and drag it to the first track where amplitude is now you have assigned the midi track to Amplitude. I'll show you here when you change the patches or presets, it changes in Amplitude, as you can see now. And as I said, don't care about the names because they are general MIDI instruments, <coughs> presets, and they don't, they are not the same in, in Amplitude, of course, because it's, it's an amp. It's not the general MIDI instrument. Now we close this window. And let's record something. Okay, let's save it. Choose the MIDI track and new MIDI item. And let's put another one there where the second preset starts. Then choose the first MIDI clip. So in the beginning about here, just double click on down and choose a program number. If you know already the program number you are using, put it there, but I'm just trying here what comes up with this one. So we can change these afterwards. Okay, so you can see that it changed the preset. Let's do the same thing here. Just about here. Doesn't matter at this point so much. And let's put a number there. Program change number. And you can see that it's changed to double crunch. Let's put it in the co mo more or less correct place. And play, you can see that changed. Driving in Arizona. And it should soon 
change to another preset like this double grunge so you can always change these program numbers whenever you want to and this is how you do it and you have to have pre-assigned into these program change number something or it doesn't work so there has to be something you can change it from here to whatever you like so you saw that it was there <coughs> in a MIDI blocking 7 but here it's 8 and this is the reason that some dev devices use program change number 0 to 127 and others from 1 to 128. So if you are one off, you know why. Okay, so if you have to change the program, the preset, you can do it from here, from the MIDI plugin itself. Or you can do it from Amplitube and use you always have to know the program change number to do it so it's it's that simple you can do it from both sides but you always have to know the corresponding program change number so notice that there is only i think it's up to 20 these program change numbers so if you put for example 25 it doesn't do anything because there is nothing so you have to always assign something there yourself in order for it to work <coughs> okay so we have now two program changes assigned to to Reaper in the media channel so I disarm it just in case that I don't accidentally record anything to it and just for fun I'm going to show you how you can <clears throat> adjust the clip for example the volume of it by adding there a track click here and choose the track envelopes so in this case I'm going to change the volume of, of the track so you can see here the copy and this is the volume level itself so control left click in windows you can put there these points it helps you to adjust the envelope in different places so you can put this as much as you want okay let's play and see what comes up So you can hear it went very much down the volume and you can pan do these things what you can see here the same way so you can fully automate the the track okay that's it for now and i hope you got something out of this one have a nice evening day night see you next time Thanks for watching.